Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do a quick little comparison between the uh, Huawei Mate S against the LG G4, which I am using at the moment as my main phone, uh, just for the fact. And uh, let's just uh, compare them now. Uh, overall, uh, I did a speed and camera test video is out. You can check that out on my channel separately in detail. So uh, we're also going to talk about that video's uh, verdict also so uh, if we compare them first of all in terms of the size of course both of these two phones falls into the phablet category uh, both comes with the 5.5 inch screen but you can kind of see that the um, mate s uh, seems to be a little bit taller but uh, seems to be not that much of a big difference at all uh, and also one more thing is that the um, uh, the screen size if we talk about the numbers uh, this is 5.5 inch screen 1080p HD resolution and this is 5.5 inch screen with quad HD resolution so you can see we get almost um, twice the pixels uh, and uh, uh, almost, you know, really, really nice quality. Quality HD is way better than 1080p. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's uh, something far more better here with the G4. And it is kind of future proof, proof, something like that, you can call it. Because uh, of course, in the future, we will see phones from Huawei coming with uh, uh, 2K resolution. So LG G4 still have a uh, 2K resolution. So yeah, it's a nice, um, screen resolution to have and then also you can see the the build quality wise uh, I, I just definitely feel that this one is a lot more premium uh, you can see this is full uh, sorry about that this is full aluminum and uh, full like uh, full premium okay uh, there's no plastic or leather or anything like that used whereas on the G4 you can see that a uh, full time leather uh, back uh, you have options of plastic and leather so leather doesn't look that much cheap but still uh, it is not up to the level of the uh, of the the feel that you get after using aluminum made phones so yeah that's uh, important thing here and also one of the best thing that I like here is, is the build quality with the Huawei Mate S um, you can also see how it is uh, almost at the same size uh, at the same in terms of uh, the thickness as the G4 and you can see G4 is kind of like uh, you know has a really nice shape here uh, going upward and then d going downward with this side so it's like a hybrid between the G3 and the uh, uh, G flex so uh, it's a little bit curved but still uh, it has this really nice design it feels really nicely hand you can see I'm not using any case or anything like that it doesn't uh, slip easily out of my hand like Huawei does so it is a good grip phone but still uh, it just slips out of the hand easily while the G4 has a kind of like a grip with this uh, uh, leather back and also uh, with this edges it just not slips out of your hand easily fits really nicely with these edges and everything uh, so you can see we got the port key and the volume rocker on the back of the phone so you don't really need to uh, reach your finger like this so LG did a great job you can easily use your this your index finger to uh, control the volume rocker and the power key while well, here uh, you can use your index finger to unlock the phone with the fingerprint sensor that is absent here no fingerprint sensor uh, but also at the same time you got the keys here uh, power and the volume rocker over here and also on this side we got the sim card tray on the, on the top uh, we got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on this phone of course uh, on the top we got microphone on the bottom we got charging and the 3.5 mm headphone jack whereas on, on there we got the charging but we got two speakers which are really really loud louder than the G4 and again uh, even though it's not that much premium as the Mate S it has this removable back option uh, which is really really nice and you can even insert a SD card so uh, memory card uh, is a nice option but still uh, if you are uh, going to buy the Mate S uh, it's not like a big deal for that phone because of course you got like 64 gigabyte internal memory uh, to play with so that's a lot of memory there so you can see we, I got the battery here this is 3000 mAh I can just pull it out if I want to so that's you know you get some nice features with removal back but still um, we, uh, we, do, we do have some edges here the br brilliant build quality but still no removal back and on the other hand a little bit cheaper quality but still it is removable and it has SD card support, so that's that. Comes to your personal preference, uh, who do you will prefer. Uh, so I'm just gonna move 
uh, to the inside of the phone so you can see that both are running Android of course pretty obvious with their own uh, skins on top um, this is the LG's GX uh, UI UX uh, UI uh, GeForce um, specific own UI you can see even with the 5.1 lollipop as its own pretty nice uh, um, you can see the quick shortcuts there pretty nice actually while here uh, the Mate S has a pretty nice 5.1 lollipop emotion UI uh, running on top uh, of this uh, Android and uh, it is a really different type of experience for most of the people you can see we got home screens there's no actual app drawer like the G4 has like this uh, but still um, it is pretty nice and it's a new kind of experience for different people and yeah if you don't like these skins you can always use a Google launcher if you want like a little bit more pure type of feeling at least with the customization because these are the Android phones, so Android is known best for the customization. And of course, both have their own sets of features. This one also comes uh, with dual window mode. So if I go here, if I hold this key here, uh, it's going to give me this dual window so I can use the gallery, I can use this uh, mail yeah uh, and the same way I can do this stuff here on my G4 dual window, uh, I can use this one and I can use this one so you can see uh, both of these two phones uh, work in this way absolutely fine you're not going to notice any lag or anything like that again for the speed and camera test make sure you check out that video that I made separately for that so uh, you can see that uh, some really nice identical features that you will find on both phones um, overall uh, you will get like uh, one hand operation mode on both of these two devices uh, this one has like quick memo which allows you to write on the screen uh, instantly like this and save a number uh, this is a really nice feature you know at first I thought that this is not gonna be of my use but after that I mean it's like a really really nice feature uh, if you want to send some screenshot to, as to someone you want to mark something I mean it's like a pretty nice pretty easy fast way to do that um, also on the other hand we have like features like knock to take a screenshot uh, you also get uh, some nice features with the fingerprint sensor here of course fingerprint sensor is completely absent on the G4 you can use the fingerprint sensor to attend calls uh, you can use it to uh, bring down the uh, the front uh, notification panel you can also if you double tap again it will go away uh, you can also use it to scroll here and there uh, left and right uh, with the gallery application so I mean definitely the fingerprint sensor is not just a fingerprint sensor it is much more than that with gestures uh, well of course that's a big blow to the G4 doesn't have that uh, we might see like G4 Pro or anything something like that in the near future that will have fingerprint sensor or might have a G4 pen or something like that that, that is according to the rumors but anyways that's uh, that and also if we take a look here in terms of processor wise this is Snapdragon 808 this is the uh, uh, Kirin 935 octa core chipset uh, that is pretty damn awesome actually uh, you can run it on smart mode uh, power saving mode is a lot more better over here and um, if I go here into the main settings and just quickly show you guys how its power saving mode is actually is so uh, we get three types of mode here called as performance, smart, and ultra. It is recommended that you sh should keep it on uh, smart mode. In smart mode, you can do heavy gaming like playing games like GTA San Andreas. It's going to just optimize everything for you. Um, but of course, when I'm doing the uh, apps opening tests and all that, I have to keep it on the performance mode. So anyways, if you are on really low battery, you can have ultra power saving mode. But uh, uh, that ultra power saving mode will allow you to increase the battery life dramatically having just selective features uh, but on the other hand the G4 doesn't have that it just have a normal Android uh, power thing mode which really sucks it's just you can see that how it just I mean it just dims the screen and it just makes the device uh, very slow you can see very sluggish the animations turned off so I, I really want a normal power thing mode like Samsung and Huawei has uh, from LG uh, so that you know I can enjoy the full brightness Wi-Fi and a bit speed but at the same time device is working in the background to conserve the battery and of course uh, 6.0 marshmallow is right around the corner for the G4 so we might see uh, the dose mode of course and we might see improvement with that but yeah power saving mode is a lot more better here so software feature wise I think this phone does have an edge in a lot of 
face this one also has um, its own good things but yeah I think like most important things are better on the Huawei Mate S um, yeah don't get me wrong I'm not you know taking side of any phone I'm using this one as my main phone but I'm just telling you the who, who has the most prominent best things there uh, overall you will find both of these two phones really fast no problem whatsoever of course G4 probably get more Android update faster than this one because it's a little bit more popular phone um, than this one and uh, and yeah, lastly, if I talk about the battery here, um, second lastly, of course, this is 3000, this is 2700. Uh, both phones are nice. Uh, G4 has to deal with the quad HD screen, this one has to deal with the 1080p. Uh, I think like both have to see uh, improvement, but currently, uh, based on my usage, like music and Facebook and everything, uh, this one is performing a little bit better, uh, like two hours plus usage with the Mate S compared to the G4. And it, lastly, if we compare the camera, you can check out that video for the camera comparison but I'm just gonna take a look here and give you my thoughts so this is 16 megapixel camera with the uh, laser autofocus optical image stabilization and this LED flash of course and this one coming with a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash Now this is where the G4 really shines it comes with 4k video capabilities as well as slow motion video as well as a mode where you can change the ISO and other stuff while this one comes with a um, with an, with a 1080p HD sport no 4k that's a really uh, below because of course giving the price that you are paying actually and I'm just gonna go here into the camera app which I'm really disappointed by the way because it's looking a lot more similar to what iOS has I'm not sure if they are if they try to copy them or I'm not sure uh, sure what Huawei has done but it, as you can see it's looking a lot more similar to what iPhone iPhone's camera app is uh, you can scroll here and there uh, for different modes you can also check out these different settings HDR all focus best photo and some neat features but uh, but still they look like a lot of like a copycat um, while the G4 has a pretty nice its own specific camera app uh, you can capture a lot of photos uh, like this you can also record videos at 4k and a ton of different modes here that you can mess up even with the even there's a dual camera where you can at the same time use your front camera and the back camera to take photo you know that's pretty pretty damn awesome uh, you might want to check out that video where I did the camera comparison I just want to give you my thoughts what I like here with the G4 with the G4 you'll get better performance especially in low light uh, but in outdoor Door, both will do great job this one is also not bad outdoor quality is really nice but I think with lack of 4k and a little bit not up to the level of g4 low light quality is not that good for the camera and of course we do have the less megapixels uh, so yeah lastly the most important thing uh, the bonus lastly thing is that is the price so this one is coming for 47,000 PKR which is around like 470 dollar while this one will cost you around like 60,000 64,000 uh, PKR if you get it from discount from homeshopping.pk that's the online website in my country but outside it might cost you like 599 something but still G4 is a lot more cheaper and I heard somewhere that G4 is, in, is even available for the price point of 377 or 388 dollars off Amazon or Flipkart I don't know but I, I heard that news so that's pretty awesome and yeah price wise definitely this is the winner you you can't argue with that uh, but yeah definitely if you are really concerned about the build quality and and uh, if you don't care about the removable back, uh, removable battery, and also if you don't uh, really need uh, 4K video recording, then you can go uh, with this one. Uh, and also, it does have a 8 megapixel camera, same 8 megapixel front camera, same as the G4. So front camera quality is also quite similar on both phones. So. I don't have to get into in depth with that one but yeah that's that that was just a full comparison between these two devices if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give this video a thumbs up share it uh, that just supports this channel so much and also um yeah i will catch you in the next one peace out